Hi, my name is Tom Massey. We bought this car in the last of May, and um, it's all original except for the hood's been repainted and replaced, and the rear bumper's been painted because the paint was cracked on it. Um, the previous owner had put a new top on it, um, new gas tank, sending unit, radiator, water pump, time and chain, time and chain cover. Um, 1989 model GT front brakes, um, power booster, master cylinder, and um, since we've gotten it, I've put um, True Dual Flowmaster American Thunder exhaust on it, um, put a new windshield in it, I've redone the dash, put new carpet in it, um, the previous owner put the Cobra and um, anniversary wheels on it, and um, the car has never been wrecked anywhere that I can tell. Um, I have a house full of new parts for it that it's going to get a repaint. I'm going to fix the little door dings and stuff in it. And um, it had 51,000 miles on it when we got it. It has 56,000 on it now. It's set for 18 years. The original the original owner sold it to a man in 2000 and in 1998 in 2003 the man got sick and they um settled his estate some 18 years later it's been a middle tennessee car all of its life now it's a north georgia car and um it runs good drives good Sounds good. It's everything I wanted. Um, the exhaust on it, put the polished stainless tips on it. Um, it's got a nice set of wide tires on the back. And the top works perfect. Um, got new seat covers on the way. Put a new stereo in it with an amp, speakers, and subwoofer. Um, the interior would all be done if it wasn't the first seat covers was wrong. Let's say so. I'm getting ready to take it apart and paint it this winter. It's um, not going to be that hard of a car to fix because it's the dings and stuff on it are just minor. Um, I put a new windshield in it already because the other one had a crack in it. Now I'll, I'll open the hood. It has a 5.0 302 throttle body injected shorty factory headers. Air conditioning's been changed over to 134 and it works. It's had a new heater core put in it, new struts, new shocks, new battery, tune up. I redid the air breather because it was dull and stuff, and I put the rubber hoses on the side of it to, for the air ducts. I did away with the, you know, the Ralph Nader stuff on it, put a shorter belt on it, and um, it's gonna get gonna get a makeover. Got to love the four eyes. Okay, now I'll crank it up and it can be heard. It's not loud, it's just a, a real nice mellow sound. It has 56,096 miles on it now.
power windows, power door locks, power top, Pioneer stereo, like I said. Got a 10 inch subwoofer. I did a rear seat delete on it so that it would, um, we can carry more stuff in it. I'm going to make a different rear seat delete. Going to put the speakers in a different place. Don't need the back seat anyway. Nobody could sit in it. I ain't got nobody to sit in it. So. But got all new moldings, all new emblems, all new weather strips, new tail light lenses, new side marker light. I've done put OEM type headlights in it. It had um, had the original headlights in it, and the first time we drove it at night, couldn't even hardly see because all the silver paint had came off of it. And when I took the rings off of them, it had. Um, the lens that had came apart. I liked the cow hood on it. At least it wasn't a monster hood. It looks better to me than a stock hood. It's just got a little bit more of a cow rise on it. Got new molding, new cow screen, all that good stuff. Pretty much everything that it needs We've already gotten the seat covers and the sun visors and the seat foam are supposed to be here next week. And I've been taking pictures of everything that I've done. I'm changing the fenders because these are a little dinged up and I wanted to do all of that. Get stuff ready so I could paint it while we were still driving it and enjoying it during the cruise in stuff. We took it up on the Cheer Hollow Skyway, we did a 275 mile ride in it one day. That's the most we've been in it one day. We like going to cruise ends. Say I've got another rear bumper because the previous exhaust melted it. And I've got a new trunk lid. All of it is 1985 Ford stuff. And um, I'm keeping the old stuff just so that I'll have it. I was going to keep the original hood I, when I went to get the car. The guy still had the original hood, but it had that foam insulation and stuff under it, and the hood was no good underneath, so I just let him chunk it in his scrap pile. But it's a good survivor car. It would be good enough for um, most people, but we just want to make it beautiful. Looks better in pictures than it does in person, but it's we're gonna take care of that. Thank you and enjoy the video and like.